هاي فرانس اند ويلكم ذا مودرن انكريبشن ميثودز ار مور سكيور ذان ذا كلاسيك ميثودز ديسكاست ان ذا بريفيوز فيديو ناو ليتس موف انتو باينري اوبريشنز انكريبشن ميثودز In this video, we are going to deal with XOR logical operation. So here in the logical operation, we have just two possibility, one or zero. So here, one XOR one equals zero, and one XOR zero equals one, and zero XOR one equals one, and zero XOR zero. equals zero so if the first number and the second number the same we have zero as we see here and if the first number different from the second number we obtained one so we are going to encrypt the message a cut using the k this is this is the k so first we need to transfer this message into binary number i show you how you can do that so here we have a as we see here ascii code for number capital a 65 so this is capital a and this is decimal i show you how you can obtain this binary number using the calculator So here, type sixty-five, and this is the binary number. The same thing for C sixty-seven. I transfer it into binary number, and here I. This is T, and here we have the K. So this is the K. So this is. the result when i transfer this number into binary and i duplicate this number until i reach into the end of the plain text now i do xor operation so i show you how you can use the calculator choose binary here select binary XOR and type the second number. So this is the result as we see here. And I make the same thing for this column until I reach into the end of the plain text. So I convert this number into decimal so i copy this number and i pass it here so as we see decimal 221 as we see and let's search in the ascii table 221 so this is the character as we see here and let's search for 121 why this is the character and the same thing for m so this is the cipher text now i show you how you can decrypt the cipher text into plain text So here I put the cipher text and I put here the K and I do XOR operation I got the plain text So let's see if we get A So let's type the first number let's XOR
So this is the result 65 and 65 represents A. The same thing, we got the plain text. So this is the binary operation. You can use any K and you can use and operation or or operation. So let's move into RSA encryption method. So the principle of this algorithm based on the prime numbers. So first we need to generate two large random primes Q and P. For example, I choose this two number 53 and 61. So how we can verify this number is prime? For example, I type here 61 and is it prime? Yes, is it prime? The same thing for 53. Is prime? Yes. 52, it's not prime. So let's n equals p multiply by q. So this is the result. So let's m equals q minus 1 multiply by p minus 1. m equals this is the result. Choose number e. So that e is co-prime to m. So I choose e equals 17. But what we meant about co-prime. So let's go into definition. So two number considered co-prime if there is no number divide this two number. For example, here we have 12 and 15. This two number, it's not co-prime because three divide the first number and the second number. And let's take this example, 5 and 11. This two number considered co-prime because there is no number divide 5 and 11. Choose D, which verify D multiply by E mod M equals 1. So what's we meant about mod? So let's see also the definition. Modulo means to divide two numbers and return the reminder. For example, 8 modulo 3 would be 2. Because if I divide 8 by 2, the result will be 3. So, 3 multiplied by 2, I got 6. So, 8 minus 6 equals 2. This is the result. So, the modulo returns the reminder. So here we should choose D which verify this condition. So in our case, I choose this number. So now the public key is the N and E and private key is the N and D. So encrypting the message M so this is the function encryption message equals m power e mod n and decrypting the cipher c so m equals c power d mod n so let's take an example let's try to encrypt the a message so for example we have a plain text which is a capital letter First, let's get the ASCII code, which is 65, power 17, mod this number. And this is the result. So I show you how you can calculate this. So 65, power 17. So this is the result mod this number 
So this is the result. So this is the cipher text. I encrypt this cipher text using public key. And now how you can get the plain text beginning from the cipher text. We do this operation. So first this is C, the cipher text, power D, mod this. Let's see if we got 65. power 27 mod 3233 so this is the result I got the original message we will continue in the next video